Hey guys, it's Erica from Erica Marie Plans. Welcome back to my channel for another memory plan with me. First thing I want to say is this video is going to be out of order because I did not plan this out correctly and didn't realize it till I was filming this that there is going to be a week in between um, that has not been filmed yet. So that will be up later this week. Um, and then the other thing I want to mention is that if you cannot tell by the title, this is a collab with so many planner girls. Um, this is our fall planner tag collab that I'm so excited to do. Um, this was kind of created or thought of by Kinsey from Kinsey's Creations. She's the one that kind of reached out to everyone and we're all doing this collab. So there's so many amazing planner girls in this collab. I will make sure to link all of their channels and videos down below. So go check them out. If you are coming from one of their videos and this is your first time ever watching a plan with me from my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for watching my video. Um, and I'm so excited. So this week I am using a kit from Caress Press that is called um, Blush Struck. And this is for the week of this past week that just happened, which is so weird for me because I've never caught up in any of my plan with me's, but I am this week. Um, I won't be mentioning everything that happened this week just because I want to get through these questions first. And then once I finish the questions, I will go ahead and just pick up where I left off in the day by day. So let's just go ahead and get started um, with the questions. So the first question is, um, is fall your favorite season? Why or why not? So fall is like my second favorite season. Winter is definitely my favorite season. I love the cold weather, even though I hate being cold. I love bundling up. So just the fact that win or fall comes right before winter it just makes it even more like fun because I'm so excited for the next season to come along um, and I just like it when it's starting to get a little bit cooler and it's not as like hot to be outside so it's my second favorite season um, question number two is are you obsessed with pumpkin I am not I absolutely I don't I don't like pumpkin drinks um and just really, I guess, pumpkin in general. So I guess, no, like I'm not obsessed with pumpkin. Um, Gabby, um, husband, I almost said boyfriend, and Gabby's husband did make us banana or no pumpkin. What was it? Like pumpkin muffins, something like that. And it was actually pretty good because it wasn't as pumpkin y. Pumpkin -y. Um, so that's why I liked it. Oh, here I'm showing you that I noticed this mess up. Um, it didn't come with a Sunday date header which is weird it came with two Thursday ones and I didn't notice it till I was putting it down so I just put it down because I didn't have anything else to put down but that was really weird that it did that in the kit but um so yeah not obsessed with pumpkins um question number three is Uggs or boots um nowadays I mean I don't even think I even own any Uggs anymore I don't think I do I think I gave I like give them to Goodwill. So I don't really wear Uggs. I wear them as slippers. I don't really wear them out if I do have Uggs. Um, but even boots, I don't really wear out as much because it's not my type of style. I have so many like Steve Madden booties, but I just don't wear them. But if I had to pick, I would probably pick booties just because I have so many of them. Um, next question is oversized sweaters or cardigans. And again, it just kind of depends. Um, I think now with my style and I just feel like I wear oversized um, like sweaters more, like pullovers. My favorite pullover at the moment is the oversized pullover from Lululemon. Um, that's my all-time favorite. I need to get a couple more, but um, I think I'd have to go with sweaters. Question number five is a favorite fall memory. And the only thing I could think of that came to mind is back in high school, just during the fall time is kind of like when football season was like coming towards an end. And the high school I went to, our football team was relatively good. Um, we always made it to like playoffs and stuff when I was in high school. So it always went on until the winter. But I just remember sitting outside in those cold nights watching the football game. So that's kind of like my memory of like fall. Um, 
Number six is, does it get cold where you live? Um, as of right now, where I live, it does, but not until the winter, I think. Um, it's finally cooling down. I saw that next week's it's going to be in the 80s, which is really nice. But where I grew up and where I've lived most of my life, it does get cool. Like I know a lot of people say California is just always hot there, but where I live in Northern California, we, we had our seasons. So it did get cold over there. Um, question number seven is a favorite fall drink. This one, I couldn't think of one because I don't, i when I think of fall drinks, I think of all pumpkin-y drinks and I don't like pumpkin. Um, so I don't know if I have like a favorite fall drink. I have a favorite winter drink, but this isn't a winter tag. This is the fall tag. Um, so I don't know what my favorite fall drink would be. Um, question number eight is favorite shop for fall stickers and kits. Um, I mean, I don't know. Usually I would say Scribble Prince Co, but I've really been like trying to branch out a little bit and not, I haven't made a purchase from Scribble Prince Co in like months. Um, so I've really been purchasing a lot from like Letters to Apollo um, just because her kids have been spot on. Um, so like if I were to pick a shop that has both like scripts and kits, I think I would pick Letters to Apollo because her kits are just like amazing. Um, question number nine is favorite fall slash Halloween movie. And this one I had to look up. Um, I was thinking of a Disney movie and I could not remember the name, but I knew that Ali, Mo I can never say her last name. She's from like Ali and AJ. Um, Ali Mishalka. I, I know you guys know who I'm talking about. She's on Phil the Future, if you were into Disney. Um, but now you see it. I loved that movie on um, Disney when it was when it came out back in 2005. That's crazy. Um, so that's like my favorite Halloween movie. Number 10 is do you um, pumpkin pick um, slash go to the apple orchard or haunted houses. Definitely not haunted houses. I would never do that. I am a scaredy cat. I hate anything scary. I can't do that stuff. Um, we don't go apple picking, but we do go pumpkin picking. As kids, we used to do that. Um, we used to go to this place in Apple Hill called Apple Hill um, in California. Um, and that's where we used to go get our pumpkins. And then um, question number 11 is favorite candy. Oof. I have so many. I don't have a specific favorite candy, but I love sour. I love sweet. Not a huge fan of chocolate, so I love like Skittles and um, mainly Skittles. Skittles is like one of my favorite candies. Um, just anything sour and sweet. I love those type of candies. Favorite costume? Um, I don't really know. I was a, a very much of a of a part. I was very much a party pooper um, as a kid. I didn't like going trick-or-treating. I don't like dressing up. I'm not that type of person. I'm kind of lame when it comes to like Halloween and dress up parties and stuff. Um, but I do remember dressing up as like Pocahontas one year when I was a kid because I mean, I kind of resemble Pocahontas a little bit. I don't know. I feel weird saying that, but I do remember dressing up as her one time. Um, but I stopped going trick-or-treating when I was in third grade because I was like, I was just over it. So I stopped doing it. Um, question 13. We only have two more questions left, so I'll be able to get to at least the ha last half of this week. Um, question 13 is, what are your plans this year? So this year, I'm really excited. I mean, I don't know if we'll have many trick-or-treaters. I feel like we would just because of the area I live in. People just kind of don't really follow the COVID rules. Um, but... I'm excited because this is like our first time kind of being like living on our own and having our own house and we'll have our own trick-or-treaters. So yesterday we did go to the grocery store and get a big bag of candy. So I'm really excited to like pass those out to the kids if we have any kids come by. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. And that is just our plan this year. We're not going out. I mean, we don't really go out anyway. Um, and then the last question is, do you watch spooky movies? So lately, I may have, I think, yes, I've been posting it in my Plan With Me's. I have been watching a little bit scary movies, um, not 
too much, I guess. I don't, I hate, like, the exorcism type movies, paranormal movies. I can't watch those because those freak me out because I feel like those can be, like, legit real things. So it kind of scares me. I can't watch the kind of, those kind of movies, but I love, like, psychological thrillers. Like, those are my favorite type of scary movies if you really, I mean, I guess you can consider, like, a scary movie. Um, like, Get Out. I love Get Out. Um... What was that other one? There was another one that was based in Santa Cruz that recently came out, um, like last year, maybe the year before. It's the same type of movie, and then One Bedroom on Netflix is like a low-budget get-out type of movie. I, I talked about that in one of my recent Plan With Me's. So I've been kind of getting into more scary movies. Black Box is really good. It's kind of like a psychological thriller, but not as psychological. Um, that's on Amazon Prime, but... I've been trying to get more into it. Dean, my boyfriend, he's super into scary movies. He loves like haunted houses and all that. And like, it's his like, he wants me to go to a haunted house with him eventually. But I told him, absolutely not. I will never because honestly, like, I'm not going to lie. I probably pee my pants. Like, I am terrified of that kind of stuff. So I don't think I would ever go. But I've been trying to get into it more. But that was it. That was the last question of this tag. So thank you, Kinsey, for creating this tag and inviting all these wonderful, wonderful, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I've been stuttering a lot in my plan with me's. Um, Thank you for like collabing with all these wonderful, oh my gosh, (laughs) all these wonderful girls in this plan with me. I'm so excited that I got to be part of this and there's just so many lovely girls on here. You guys need to check them out. So I'm just going to go ahead, finish what I'm doing here. I mean, I guess I can kind of go over like what I did. Um, I did do this in times two speed, the whole thing, rather than times four for like the base and then times two for the day by day. So I just wanted to slow it down because I wanted to try and get through the questions and get through as much as I could. But I'll just kind of go through like a highlight of what happened each day, I guess. Um... If I can find it in my planner because I'm kind of struggling right now. Oh, here we go. Okay. So Monday, what happened Monday? Monday was just a good day overall. We watched Black Box on um, Amazon Prime and watched the Watts, the Christopher Watts documentary. I remember when that was happening, like the week up, like I was watching on the news. I'm sure a lot of you guys were. Um, and then Tuesday was when The Bachelorette started. And I, of course, I had to watch it, I had to represent Claire from our home hometown um I know I've I've mentioned this back in the week before she um was announced as the bachelorette I actually had I made a hair appointment with her because she does hair where I live um she's a hairstylist and so I made an appointment and then she canceled it like uh, a couple days after she was on good morning America announcing that she was the bachelorette and I was like are you kidding me (laughs) I wanted her to do my hair so I had to watch it, of course. I mean, I watch Bachelorette all the time anyway, but I definitely had to represent her. And then Wednesday, nothing much going on. Watched Mindhunters. Thursday, I had to pay a lot of bills, so I used the Adulting adulting is Hard script from Ice Cream Joe because there were so many bills that needed to be paid this day. And it was payday, so it was kind of nice. Um, Friday... Bought some stickers um, from Station Stickers, which you can use my code to get, um, I think it's 10% off. And then Saturday, we went grocery shopping, finally had not gone grocery shopping since we've been home. And then Thursday slash Sunday, since there is no Sunday um, date cover, um, I had my morning coffee this day. I haven't had coffee all week. And so we finally went grocery shopping and got creamer so I can have coffee on or this morning, I guess, and then did a whole bunch of filming and editing today, which is crazy. I did I did two videos. I posted two videos today. If you haven't seen those, make sure to go check those out. I also bought so many stickers. I made an order from Scribble Rinse Co. because it had been months since I placed an order. Um, where else did I buy? Oh, from Valerie Papery, I think is what it, her shop is called. She's a newer shop, um, so I'll definitely be hauling that. So there will be a haul coming up these next couple weeks. Um, I didn't film one last month because I really didn't do much shopping. I was on a no-buy, so I definitely will be doing a haul this month. And then 
that's pretty much it. We had late night mac and cheese because that's like our favorite thing to do late at night. And then here I am just filling out the sidebar. Um, and I was just tracking eating at home and my water intake. And then in the box, I also put that we were uploading or I uploaded all week this week. So yeah, here is what it looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed this pie with me and I hope you guys enjoyed this collab. Make sure to check out any close-ups I have on Instagram. I will have it linked down below, but it is Erica Marie Plans. And make sure to check out all the other girls' videos um, they'll be all posting at the same time as well. But if you are not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video. All right, bye guys.